Hi, welcome to this machine. It's going to be about updating. So we have this SSD that's in here. It's the Arch Linux B Gaming ISO that we've created in an article. It's not downloadable. It's uh, the B stands for you have to build it, build your own ISO. And I'm going to update this um, system. So there are uh, tutorials over here, lots of information in here, but also a general tutorial thing. And we how to create the biggest gaming ISO ever was 5.4 gigabyte or something like that. So a lot of games in here, but also in education and in multimedia, there were some places that it was uh, also writing away games. So that's this. So if you want to have your own gaming ISO, just install it. So just follow this tutorial and you have it. All right, so updating the system. We are now at 18.10.4. So again, another tutorial, how to update stuff, right? So there are two th main things you have to remember. That's the word update, which is going to get everything from Arch Linux and Arco Linux. So let's get that done. And then you check out what all these things are. By You should know uh, in, in due time, you will know what all these elements are. Uh, HW info is just a new one. And okay, uh, the lib32 guys are a bit less uh, known, but this is for Steam probably. And um, well, you get to know all these applications, but if you see something with Arch Linux, of course, you know it's ours, it comes from us. So something has changed, we have improved the themes or the scripts, of in this case here, we've added a script in the bin, the dot bin and hidden folder. So a lot of things can, can change, can be improved, and that's what we do. So we send you new packages. So when you update, you update everything from Arch Linux and Arch Arco Linux, right? And we're almost there. The next thing you can do is copy paste everything that was in the ETC scale, but you don't know if you don't look, you don't know. Let's go up. Yes, there are stuff, there is stuff, in the etc scale that's going to change our xfce or tunar settings our configuration uh, settings and our folder dot bin so yes we do need to run a command called scale now if we scale this thing everything that's in etc scale is going to be copied over to our own so overwritten so the elements that are in etc scale will be overwritten or will overwrite everything that's in your home directory. So that's this line here. So that's an update. The next update we do is the PTS YUA, which is only AOR then, Control C. These things are not coming from Arch Linux. They're not coming from Arch Linux. They're coming from AUR, Arch User Repository. The fun stuff is probably coming from here because there are things in here that's, that's, that's super nice like Vivaldi or Spotify or Dropbox or Insane or these guys. So yeah, well, let's continue and let's go. So control C and let's do it and let him do his job. In the meantime, let's put in here. This is open box. So right mouse click open box. We can't just drag and, and point it here. What you, we do is we press super. And I have an extended keyboard and when I press super seven, it's there. Super eight, super nine, super six, super three, super two, super one, super four, super five. All right? So that's what we do to tile these windows. While that's there, let's do a super shift return and control H. Now we did with scale, we did the copy paste, right? So everything is, has been overwritten. There are new stuff in here. In the bin, there is something new in here. I'm going to run immediately my 000. If it was not already done, it's now done, right? Eight cores, use them all. Fine. So that's done. There are some fun apps that we can install. The fun apps, nothing to do. Skipping, skipping, skipping. Everything installed already. If you want the LTS kernel, so the long-term support kernel, you can do so. I saw I need to run my fix intel thing so if you get this error microcode is not uh, up to date you should fix it then it's this line this little script that you should uh, run we can't do anything about it you have to do it you have to decide whether you want to do it or not okay 
So that's uh, that, that's settled. What else? Um, you should always, after a scale, compare these two guys here. Okay, so is PKSY way done? Okay, missing AUR packages. That's all right, that's normal. Okay, I know what it is. Um, so we have to compare these two guys, bash RC, bash RC latest, all right. What we do is we do a compare super tool but um, this is a well let's say an, a home built ISO means that melt may be not installed now I have just pressed super F5 which is my hotkey to get my melt no such directory okay so pseudo pacman minus s melt I don't really need it it's so easy done so again these two right mouse click compare what we need to do is get the latest improvements and this is a new uh, alias backup scale so if you do a scale um, then everything is overwritten right so the backup scale is going to make a backup folder and it's going to copy everything that's uh, originally in the scale so we can compare later on i'll make a separate tutorial then it will make sense Anyway, so we need the new guys. Uh, yay, skip for the integrity check, skipping and the vulnerability microcode is also something interesting. Microcode to see the vulnerabilities in your CPU. We save this one, like so. Save, that's how we save this bash RC. So these two guys are now the same. Now, if you wanna, if you gonna copy paste later again, then the old bash rc will return right it takes a while to kick in think about it so this bash rc is actually an old bash rc if you're going to copy paste it over it's again the old one from version 18.10.2 right so if you don't want to do the work again with next update with next scale i copy paste this over as well in here so now this scale, this bash RC in etc scale has the version of 18.10.4. Correct? That's that. So if you want to, um, well, try out all these new aliases, or you log out, which I cannot do since I am recording, or you say open the terminal here and then source bash RC. There you go. And now I have more aliases. So now we understand if I try to run the escape or try and skip somewhere, and there is this backup scale, which is probably up there here, backup scale. And there's also the vulnerabilities, so microcode here. So these things, all these things will just kick in and will work. So that's that i'm almost up to date the only thing that i need to do is something special actually uh, which you don't need to do if you um, did a clean install of course but we've just changed our pacman.conf and if we scroll down there is one element missing as you can see there is one element missing so Arco Linux forum, let's go look since we're just a regular Joe and we say hey, there is some change about Mirrorlist and Pacman. I've read something about it, could not read. And there you go. So what we need to do is we have to copy paste that element. Alright. Then we have to install a package which is going to tell Pacman, hey, there are the mirrors. Okay, so that's one thing. And this thing is new. Actually, just the last one, right? So it's just the last one we need. But let's copy paste it all. So everything that's in here needs to be changed because of the server. The server points to Linux github.io, but it's going to point to something else now. It's going to point to a file. So you need to really copy paste everything. Okay, but not too much. Control Z. So you can keep, I can leave this explanation there. It's just uh, text, but leave it in. And then, okay, save. 
This means that my pacman.conf has changed. It's going to look now to a file that I just installed in etc pacman.t, Arch Linux, Mirrorlist, and it's going to update. It's going to look a little bit different. Uh, yeah, let's leave that open. Update, which will give me a new line here, Arch Linux repo submicron, which will then uh, show that we can install sudo pacman minus s the Arch Linux wallpapers from submicron, all of them again. Okay, so that's um, done. We're finally done, means that we go for the last time to lsb <coughs> lsb release. And now you can honestly say that you have now 18.10.4 and we're up to date. So last but not least, we end with a screenshot like this. So that's how you get up to date. It's, um, <coughs> well, probably straightforward for me, but um, basically it's an update and it's a PTS YUA and check out the bash RC if they're the same latest and yours. All right. Cheers, have fun.